Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! <laughs> You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Someone is using the fireplace. I suppose that this is where old Winchester lives. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Poor kid. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. 
Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect this. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. I'll have to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked and I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. This gate is locked. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world.
Pierce. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. 